I yield to myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman, gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you. Madam Speaker, this bill, led by my colleagues, Representative Scott Franklin and Debbie Wasserman Schultz, both of the Sunshine State, has, and as well as the support of the entire Florida delegation, are very urgently calling on behalf of the citrus producers in our state to pass this bill. Hurricane Ian impacted more than 375,000 acres of citrus groves, costing nearly $675 million in damages to the industry. More than 90% of all Florida citrus production was impacted by tropical storms in 2022. I'll repeat that because I think it bears repeating. More than 90% of all Florida citrus production was impacted by tropical storms in 2022. In December of last year, Congress appropriated $3.7 billion, with a B, dollars to address agricultural losses from hurricanes and other natural disasters. However, to date, no citrus grower has received any of the agricultural disaster relief funds. None. When speaking to Secretary Vilsack, Secretary of the USDA, during a recent Ag Committee hearing, the Secretary stated that they, being USDA, needed this authority from Congress. And if we give USDA the authority, they will do everything that they can to get these funds to those who need it most. The exact quote from Secretary Vilsack was, if you, Congress, direct us, USDA, and give us the power to do so, we will do everything we can to get the resources to the people who need it as quickly as we can. This bill would allow the Secretary of Agriculture to create a program within USDA to support specialty crops, including citrus, damaged by natural disasters. In 2017, this relief model was successfully used to help growers recover from Hurricane Irma. The Block Grant Assistance Act would provide that exact same flexibility to the Secretary to help Florida citrus growers recover from Hurricane Ian. In 2018, Congress gave USDA the authority to issue block grants to states to assist with recovery efforts after Hurricane Irma. In conjunction with USDA Farm Service Agency, the FSA, the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services, and the Florida Division of Emergency Management, the Florida Citrus Recovery Block Grant Program was created to support citrus growers impacted by Hurricane Irma. The CRBG program was widely successful in aiding the Florida citrus industry. Unfortunately for our citrus producers, the language in the fiscal year 23 omnibus bill did not provide Secretary Vilsack the direct authority to disperse the appropriated disaster funds via block grant. Citrus is a crucial part of the Florida economy with the industry of more than 400,000 acres of citrus groves across the state. The industry contributes $6.8 billion to the economy each year and supports over 33,000 jobs. Citrus growers have had no shortages of challenges over the past several decades. From citrus greening to natural disasters, high input costs, labor concerns, and beyond. But our state growers have continued to remain resilient. This bill would help our citrus growers recover from Hurricane Ian by allowing the secretary to efficiently deploy the funds that have already been appropriated by Congress. With that, Madam Speaker, I reserve the balance of my time.